Hi everyone, it's Farah here. So today we're going to be starting a new uh, video series or YouTube series by the name of More. So what is More? More means mother. And here I'm a grandmother of uh, my lovely grandchildren who call me More. So you can remember me and call me More and that's how we're going to start. So. What is going to happen on this line is that uh, we are going to be doing a lot of interesting things uh, from arts and crafts to home decor to um, you know kitchen or whatever lifestyle, anything and everything. So it is um, a, a, a YouTube channel which will definitely interest a lot of people. So. As, as we will go along, you will see what all we are going to be doing and how we will be going forward. So today, because I'm uh, an artist, so today I thought we can start with a little project um, which I will do um, uh, in front of you from the scratch and you'll be able to follow the steps and uh, see how beautifully we can create everything. So are you ready? Let's begin. So what the project is that uh, we're going to be doing a candle stand. Candles are very, very um, are popular these days and everyone wants to have beautiful candles in their houses, but they are expensive. So what we are going to create is a, is a beautiful stand that we'll make ourselves and then we can have tea light candles in them, replaceable, and it is something which is very versatile and you can put it in different places of your house. You can do arrangements and decor, which in another uh, program I can even show you how to decorate different parts of your houses. So what do what are the items that I would need? This is, if you see, it's a chocker block of MDF. And uh, I have had it made specially for me. And if you look at the top part, it has um, a, a round indentation, which is the exact size of a tea light candle. So that's going to be sitting right here very comfortably. And this is the MDF block, a, a rectangular block that I have had it made. And if any one of you are interested, just DM me and I can, you know, have it made for you and ship it. So this is the piece that we are going to be working on today. And um, I always work on a silicone mat because it's easier to clean and, and uh, wipe off things. Plus the table that I'm working on has been with me for the last, I think, more than 20 years. Now silicon, silicon mats are always very good, um, you know, to, to have uh, on your work surface. I found these turntables to be very handy because uh, you know when you have your work and you want to do three, uh, the uh, 360 then it's very handy to have something which you can without touching the item you can turn it around and uh, just like this one that we'll be able to turn our candle stand uh, so that we can work on all surfaces. All right so um, the items that I would be needing for this would be gesso Gesso is um, a, a product which uh, you use on different surfaces before uh, you, know, you start your paint. After gesso, I'll go step by step. We'll be doing paint and uh, we'll be using stencils today and we'll also be working with air dry clay. Okay, for this of course, for the application, I would need uh, my brush. I use a bit of a thicker brush and we start. It's very smooth to apply. There you go. So we have done with three sides. So I would like that uh, if you like my videos as I'm starting it now, I would like you to give me comments and please do um, like and subscribe it because this will tell me that uh, you know I should be making more videos and uploading them. I still have to do the top but I just want to show you all the four sides. So now I will do the top. So now that you see the top part, uh, the inside of it all and all around 
we have covered really well. I'll just um, dry it out with the heat gun. So I have my acrylic paint and I'm going to be diluting it because it's quite thick. So I will be diluting it a little bit with water. So now we're just going to simply, just like we applied just so, we're going to apply the same thing with acrylic paint and this is with matte finish. For strokes, if you see, I'm, I'm just trying to go one direction because um, I just want to have a very smooth uh, look to and smooth finish to my product. We will be doing other videos where I will be teaching you other techniques to decorate this and do it um, you know, even more elaborate than what I'm doing today. But I thought just to start with, let's do this. Oh, I really like the finish. It's really nice. So there we go. And now we're going to be doing the top parts. I'm fully covered all four sides of this beautiful candle piece and the top part. I'm also doing the round indentation where I've made it for my tea light candle to sit. So again we'll be using my hot air gun. So I'm going to be doing stenciling. Stenciling is uh, beautiful. You know, you can achieve so much with stencils. Here I'm using an A4 size stencil. Now, this is the surface that I want to work on for my um, design. Now, you put in your design, whichever, because it has cottoned off, you don't have to worry about if it's going over. So just slightly dip your sponge into the copper paint and we go oh wow I am liking it already all right I think we have covered every part of it and ta -da! oh wow I love it I absolutely love it so if you see now you can see very clearly the size uh, that has the paint on it so I can put on my next surface exactly where I want it to be. Wow, I absolutely love it. And I love how detailed it looks and gives such a beautiful finish. I love this copper color. Now I want these parts to be of copper color. So again, I'm going to go tap, 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 tap and just go over the areas, all right. So I'm gonna put it on my turntable. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go around the, the lines and uh, just to sort of enhance the design. So here we go. If you see how beautifully, you know, and it has given a different uh, dimension, different color to it. We're going to be doing the same with the bottom and giving it that uh, sophisticated look. All right, so what do you think? Oh wow, look at, look at those lines and we've done our paint. Okay, so now what we have to do is that I have to uh, make the mold. So here I'm going to be, I want to select the rope design here and along with that some teardrop designs. So there we go. And a bit more. I have a little bit of water here. So what I'm gonna do is just go over it with my finger, a little bit of wet finger, not too much of it. Then turn it around. And I am going to now release my design. So here we go. Okay, so I selected the rope design and here you can see that I have very nicely, I've taken out the design side down gently. And then we are going to apply 
with the glue a thin line on top of it. I'm going to do the same for all three. Hopefully we won't have to make another one. And I could have left the design just as is. It's beautiful the way it looks. Now because it is so flexible, I'm just going to put it around and we can do the fixing and pressing it a little but not pressing too much so that we don't destroy the design. I'm putting a little bit of water where the edges are meeting so that, you know, it can get merged and doesn't look bad. And I'm going to now do the teardrops. All right, so here we turn our teardrops upside down and again with a little bit of liquid glue we go over the surface and we place it right on the edge of the corner and pressing half of it on one side and half on the other. I'll just turn so you can see it. Okay, there we go. All right, now what I would like to do is, because this is a bit plain, the top is a little plain, so I'll grab my stencil again, place it in the center, and I would like to go over with the same floral design and copper color so that I have a continuation of what I was doing on the side. That there are no black parts visible. So that would mean that you have done. And very gently upright, you pick it up. Oh, nice, nice. This is nice. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start my paint so that I could show you what it's going to look like at the end. Ever so gently over my terracotta. Whew, okay, we're done with this. Now, the next part or the next step that I want to do is we have to wait for it to dry before I do uh, the last step for this, which is uh, really it sort of brings it up and the whole thing is, uh, it looks, comes alive. Beautiful. All right. Now, very lightly. And voila. We are done with this beautiful candle. Just the last step. Here is a very thin velvet that I usually use for finishing all of my artwork and giving it that much more uh, professional look that uh, it has, um, you know, the, the finishing and all. So what I'll do is, what we need is our liquid glue. This is really strong glue and it works really well. So we're just gonna go over the edges, the four sides, making sure because we don't want anything coming out and then filling in. Not too much, but the middle. Okay, we'll turn it around and we will put our square on top. Making sure. So now the final moments, your candle stand is ready. You've done all of your work and here is my beautiful tea light candle. I'm gonna put that in and there we go. So, and you can see all the four sides of how beautiful it looks. Very detailed, very professional and very beautiful. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you come back to my channel, subscribe and like the channel and I'll see you again. Goodbye from Moray.